everyone it's my privilege to introduce to you the speaker for today gia and johan paul i'm extremely happy to have them among us gia and gihan are the children of god fearing parent brother godwin and sister ruth they are basically from mangalore and then they have moved to bangalore and presently they are in kerala both gia and gihan they are doing their home schooling and are very talented i know i now hand over the time to them gia and gihan the time is yours Thank, Thank you, Christina. You, Good morning. Blessed morning, everyone. Before we begin, let's start with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray that you would fill each one of us with your Holy Spirit and help us to understand your word. In Jesus' name, Amen. My brother and I would like to sing a song, Did You Ever Talk to God? Did you ever talk to God about telling that you need a friend to love, pray in Jesus' name, believing that God answers prayers and told him all your cares and woes every time you lay the fear. You can know he'll always hear it. He will answer prayer. You can whisper in a cloud to him. You can cry when you're alone. To him, you don't have to pray at all. To him, he knows your thoughts. On a lofty mountain peak, he's there in a meadow by a stream. He's there anywhere on earth you go. He's been there from the start. Find the answer in his word, it's true. You'll be strong because he walks with you. By his faithfulness, he'll change you. To God answers prayer. Today's topic is, do we ever talk to Jesus? The famous quote from inspired writing about prayer is, prayer is talking to God as to a friend. Ever since I began to talk, whenever I prayed, if I said, dear Jesus, my parents would always correct me by saying, Gia, you prayed to the Father, not to Jesus. As I grew older and began to understand the Trinity, I began to wonder, if my parents say that I talk to the Father when I pray and not to Jesus, do I ever talk to Jesus? I'm so grateful to God for all my mentors who have always been by my side in throwing a bigger light on the scriptures. Here's what I learned. When the disciples asked Jesus how to pray, this is how he began. Turn your Bibles with me to Matthew 6, 9. These are the famous words of Jesus and is also a famous prayer which we call the Lord's Prayer. After this manner, therefore, pray ye, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Here we see that we address our prayers to the Father. Now let's read John 16, 23. John 16, 23. 
And in that day, ye shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily, I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Here again, we see that Jesus says that we pray to the Father. Let's go to Ephesians 6, 18. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Here we see that our prayers, the words that we speak in our prayers are not to be mere repetition or preformed sentences. But each word spoken during the prayer are supposed to be inspired by the Holy Spirit. Let's go to Jude verse 20. But ye beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. With this also affirms that the, the Holy Spirit guides the prayer. Let's read Romans 8.26. Romans 8.26. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for, for as we ought. But the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Even in our groans and moans, we may not be able to utter words, but the Spirit, even 